Hey there, this is Darren LaCroix, day 131, live in Philly, and uh, here with my roommate, my buddy, one of my best friends in the world, Ed Tate, hard at work, yes. hard at work. Well, I just spent this time, uh, let's see, take a look at the digital dial here, uh, 26 minutes, uh, working on my dream, read more from Save the Cat, this chapter was great. Uh, actually, every speaker, I think, should read this book, Save the Cat. Uh, chapter 2 is, uh, give me the same thing, only different. And what's fascinating about this is that it's he's talking about what Hollywood uh, producers and uh, movie companies want. And it's ironic that uh, pretty much the same thing speakers uh, do. And he's talking about different genres and what's successful in Hollywood and what they're willing to put their money in, that they really want the same structure, but... They want a different twist. And he talks about cliches, and he has a great quote. He says, you got to come really close to the cliche, but then stop before you actually say it. Um, so it's been interesting. And he, uh, the movie books that I've been reading before, they talk about uh, all the different genres, romantic comedy, uh, tragedy, um, love story, um, monster movie. He actually has different kinds of genres, so this is interesting and uh, kind of makes you rethink this. He uses Monster in the House, uh, Jaws, Tremors, Aliens, Fatal Attraction, uh, Golden Fleece. This is one that I wouldn't have thought of. He said a category that um, signifies Star Wars, uh, Wizard of Oz, Planes, Train, and Automobiles, uh, Back to the Future, and Heist Movies. I wouldn't have put some of those together, but I can I can see his point the more I read about it. Out of the bottle. That's like Liar Liar, where like a wish comes true, and maybe big, Bruce Almighty. And uh, anyway, it's given me a, a different perspective. And he really suggests that you have to nail this down before you write. Don't start writing yet. So who am I to allow him <laughs> to stop me from actually writing, which is what I'm doing, creative procrastination. I haven't actually got to the writing part yet, or I did page up to page four. Anyway, uh, my goal is to inspire you by making some progress today, um, some uh, good ideas and rethinking a few things, and came up with one idea uh, that I definitely need to include in my script. So I'm taking notes and putting it in the, the outline format. Uh, if you remember from last week or so, uh, writing the first 10 pages is taking the first 14 scenes, put them on note cards, and I'm doing it by bullet points in a Word document. So I'm actually rearranging some of those and realize I need to set the tone uh, of my day in my ordinary life when I own my subway shop before I started listening to the Brian Tracy tape uh, that day. So uh, more insights, making it better, making progress. How about you? What can you do today before you go to bed to make one step closer to your dream? Stage time.